headshot or a body shot? It's about. Hey, what's going on, Champ Squad? My name is Insanity, if you guys are new, and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So today, I'm going to discuss my best advice for how you can improve your stats here in Season 10 of Apex Legends. This season, I've got some pretty solid stats so far, and I figured I'd go over how I've been able to consistently improve my stats in the past couple seasons um, to where they currently are. In the background, I have a really sweaty 3.2k 14 kill gameplay that I think you guys will enjoy. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So currently this season I have around a 6kd and a 40% win rate. These stats aren't the very best out there, but I think they're pretty solid. They're definitely some of the best stats I've ever had. And this is around 2kd higher than last season where I had about a 4.5kd. And I've made some changes since then that I'm going to discuss that really helped to buff my stats to this, this season to where they currently are. So the first really big reason that my stats are better this season is that I haven't touched rank for Battle Royale yet. I've been playing ranked arenas, but obviously there's a separate stat tracker for arenas. The truth is that BR ranked, especially high tier ranked, like once you hit diamond, is a bit of a KD killer because you're going to be playing against much better players on average who are also trying a lot harder than the average pub player using toxic metas like Revtain, which can be really difficult to consistently beat. I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't play ranked, I'm just pointing out that if you don't play ranked that much, your stats will definitely be better. I'm taking a break from BR rank this season now that I've gotten Masters six times, but I will be going for Arena's Masters. So another key reason I've been able to bump my stats up a bit this season is that I have been solo queuing less often. There's always going to be people who complain about three stacking in pubs, but the truth is Apex is a team-based game, and if you decide to go at it on your own, you're putting yourself at a pretty big disadvantage and just making your job a lot harder than it needs to be. I'd say between 25 and 50% of the time that I solo queue, I don't even get a full team. And the rest of the time, it's really rare that your randoms will pull their own weight. And to make matters worse, even when you do solo queue, you'll go up against sweaty three stacks, and that's not a fun experience. I do think Respawn needs to try to make separate matchmaking playlists for people that are solo queue versus three stacking in the future, and that this will fix a lot of the current problems with skill-based matchmaking. But for finding a good team, um, I really do think it's necessary now in pubs, just especially if you're a higher tier player where you've been getting in these sweaty lobbies. Um, you're going to want to have a pretty solid squad if you want to consistently win. And you will win a lot more of your games once you have a good team. And this is really the key to getting a better KD. Because in those games where you win, you don't die, you don't register a death on your KD, which will bump your stats up a lot. For example, I'm at about 4 kills per match this season, but because of my high win rate, my KD is approaching 6.5. So winning more and dying less will really bump up your KD because you don't register a death, assuming that you don't get respawned in that game. So if you don't have a decent squad, because I know there's a lot of good players out there who still say that they've been going at it solo queue and they just can't find a decent squad, I do recommend trying out the main Apex Discord, going to their LFG page, or joining the personal Discord server that I run and looking for teammates there. Not every person's going to be a great match, you know, you might not find your dream team with the first person you play with from Discord, but there's a lot of people in there, and you can generally find people with similar skill level to you, and hopefully find a team with some decent chemistry. So one crucial tip that will definitely help you guys improve your stats is to try to land a bit smarter so that you die right off of drop less often. I'm not saying you need to land cold, because I like to land pretty hot and go for high kill gameplays, but just try to be smart about it. For example, if you see there's a lot of squads landing at the same location as you, make sure you free look as you're dropping and pick an area that is less crowded so that you can loot up a bit before you fight. Those fights off spawn where you're competing with another team from limited loot can be completely determined by RNG and not by skill at all, so keeping those to a minimum can definitely help your stats. So those are my main tips for improving your KD and stats in Season 10 of Apex Legends. If you guys implement these strategies this season, I'm sure you'll see a pretty big bump in your stats. But also, do try to remember that stats aren't everything in Apex Legends. There's a ton of really good players out there that have lower KDs because they solo queue pretty much exclusively. But if you are trying to get better stats, these tips will help you do so. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. It gets really sweaty. This is the state of, of pubs nowadays, so... You know, three stacking is almost necessary if you want to win consistently just because of how sweaty they are. I think you guys will enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll catch you in the next one. Another team, another team, another team solid. You gotta get back to us if you can. Uh, bro, we, we can't keep up with you when you're on your pad, bro.
One of them on the left. Back. Pass, pass one, pass one. There's another team over here. The other way. No, the pass is trying to get the banner. 50 on one of them? I'll hit her for 110. There's one behind, behind, flanking. On me. Yeah, I'm shot in the back. I'm shot in the back. There's another, there's a, there's a corner up, there's a corner up. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. I don't know where it was and I got stunned 15 times. Oh my god, it's that bad. Oh my god, that f***ing Pathfinder griefed us. You got light ammo? I, got the I, uh, I did. I, got I got 400. I have 400. I got a red shield too. Hey, got our squad mates banner. Game is so annoying right now. Drop right there. Fuck it. Oh, no. They're donating me. You gotta be kidding me. This kid's a fing god. He's got one pathfinder still, right? The level 214. You sure you want me to get in your box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in there, right in there. I smoked it, I smoked it. Go there first, try to get something. And then I can smoke this one too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. Alright, boys. Yeah. Yo, so we just can't keep up with you when you stand. I dropped 40. Um, I don't know where. Over here. They're over there, somewhere. They're going in the open. They're padding. They're yeah. in the open. Ten. Good shot, dude. Pushing. Behind. I found all from this way. You got help? Pop the bat, pop the bat. Valk hit for 60. Hotter, let's go. Let's go, finally. Holy, that was the most stressful thing ever. Let's go, bro.